Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the broadcast. Well, Brexit's Nigel Farage has just issued a dire warning to the American people about Donald J. Trump and a potential civil war split. Now, for those of you who may not know, Donald Trump and Nigel Farage have been friends for quite some time, and I really take the words uh, that Nigel is saying to heart, especially in light of all this political persecution and witch hunt that is happening against against a former president of the United States by a sitting president, and that is Joe Biden and his weaponized use of the FBI and the Department of Justice and all these other three letter agencies that are now being used as weapons against us. Uh, not only that, but tonight we also have the debate going on. And right at the same time, uh, Donald Trump does what he always does and plays the Trump card. Well, he's going to be aired at the same time as the Fox News debate with the presidential candidate. So I've got so much to show you in today's broadcast, but let's start first with this warning um, from Nigel Farage. Now take a look at where I found it. And this is on breitbartnews.com. Farage, jailing Donald Trump could lead to a civil war-like split in America. He goes on to state, in an article in the Express newspaper, Farage said that an irrational fear and hatred of Donald Trump seems to be sending America down a dangerous path in which it could see a civil war-like split. He goes on, Trump is now facing dozens of criminal charges, both personal and political, and most fair-minded Americans can see that he is up against nothing less than an establishment-led witch hunt, he wrote. He concludes, if citizens lose respect for the judiciary on the basis that they feel it is increasingly politicized and then decide to take matters into their own hands, America could be subject to the most potent split since the Civil War. Now, here's my personal opinion on that. Unfortunately, we are seeing a politicized Department of Justice and a different, um, how do I say, criminal justice system for Republicans than Democrats. This is absolutely what is happening right now. And we are seeing it play out with Donald J. Trump, who, by the way, currently sits at about 91 counts. Take a look here, New York Post. Here are the 91 counts Trump is facing in four different cases. And the mind-boggling prison time they add up to, which according to this report, is about 712 years and six months behind bars if Donald Trump is convicted. So what Nigel Farage is saying, I believe he's actually going somewhere with this because the truth of the matter is we have we do have a weaponized Department of Justice and FBI. And, 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 and literally, they are attempting to put this man behind bars for over 700 years for bogus crap, by the way, that, 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 that just simply is about freedom of speech and rights as a sitting president. I mean, we have really gone into crazy territory. Now, here's my kind of input on the civil war split or whatever, I believe that the United States of America is already really divided. The unfortunate news is, is I don't see us getting more unified. Now, when Joe Biden ran, he promised unification. And obviously, he was the 100% opposite of that. He has brought more division than any sitting president that I have seen. And I unfortunately see that divide getting worse because there are no happy mediums that I see out there. Uh, that some of these political candidates on either side of the fence are pushing for. With that, here's my kind of two cents, because we know that Donald Trump is going to turn himself in on August 24th, Thursday, uh, and, he, and he's been... Um, told, you know, you've got a $200 bail. Here's this. This is on New York Post. Trump plans to turn himself in on Thursday after $200,000 bond granted it in Georgia election case. Now, here's my two cents, and you might or might not agree with me, but the, the Democrats are doing everything in their power to get him behind bars. Well, let's play this thing out. If that's what they want, I suggest that Donald Trump do not pay the $200,000 bail and go to jail. And maybe you disagree with me, but here's my kind of thought process around that. Secret Service has a duty to protect Donald J. Trump. And they're actually, you know, wanting to send him to, send him to a more violent prison than other prisons, by the way. Take a look at this here. This is on seattletimes.com. Jail where Trump will be booked in Georgia has long been plagued with violence. Violence so bad, by the 
a way that it prompted a federal investigation into conditions specifically at that jail site. So if Secret Service has a duty to protect him, well, they're going to have to clear out part of the jail in order to make sure nobody hurts Trump's or hurts Trump or harms Trump. This is going to cause a big problem for those over there in Georgia. Not to mention, what are the American people going to think and believe when Donald Trump is actually behind bars? What happens then? And that's why I think Donald Trump personally should say, hey, I'm not paying the bail. This is what you want. Let's go ahead and do it and let's plan for it. Because I think that it's really going to open America's eyes. And a lot of the sleeping Americans, I'm not talking about you guys, but a lot of those who are still sleeping, I think it's going to wake them up to the reality of how bad the Democrats have become at going after their political opposition. I mean, I think this is a smart move. Not that he's going to do it. I absolutely 100% am sure that he will not. But it's something to just think about either way, um, because eventually that's where they want to go. And obviously, we've got the 2024 election coming up. But with all of that, uh, we also have the debates going on tonight. And I find it interesting that Trump is playing his Trump card, telling Fox News, I'm not going to be a part of this. You go ahead and, you know, do your thing tonight. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and air with Tucker Carlson at the very same time on the very same day. It's a very strategic move on Donald Trump's part. And I think what makes Trump Trump, right? But here that is eight candidates. And this is on CBS. Eight candidates qualify for the first 2024 presidential debate. It's these eight folks right here. I'm not going to name them all. Um, Vivek and Don are really the only two that I care to hear anything about in this debate. The rest, I, I'm, I'm not that much of a fan of, especially Chris Christie, who's the worst of the worst, and Mike Pence. But either way, um, I'm probably not going to be listening to that debate. Some of you uh, may be listening. I might pay, play clips from it at some point. But what I will be listening to at the very same time is this. KWA, I mean, KSAU.com, former President Trump's interview with Tucker Carlson will air at 8 p.m. the same time as the RNC debate. And I think that's just the big middle finger, so to speak, that Donald Trump is giving to Fox News and the RNC there because uh, they've really messed with them a lot over the years. And, and I think same with Tucker Carlson, too. But either way, I wanted to bring all of this to you because there's a lot of things happening right now that I believe you have to be aware of. These Trump's uh, these charges against Donald Trump are absurd. It's a witch hunt. I'm still following those as we go and keeping everybody up to date uh, as time goes on. And there is never in history, and I think this is an important part, never in history been someone prosecuted to the level that Donald Trump is and like the way that Donald Trump is being persecuted. And meanwhile, Hunter Biden is still getting free pass after free pass after free pass. I, 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 we are in a, not only a third world country, um, but we are living in a police state. The United States of America is gone. The question is, what does our future hold? Are we going to go back on the right path? Are we going to get the right people in charge in 2024? Or are we going to continue down this subjugative pass? And by the way, they're already talking about re-implementing these COVID-19 restrictions, which I've talked about in detail for quite some time. I've been warning about this over and over again. And I said they'll reinstitute it for COVID, uh, new variants or new pandemics, and they'll reinstitute it uh, for climate, uh, cl their climate uh, agenda there or their um, climate emergency. Excuse me. They want to re-implement it for that, these kinds of policies. But if you're not already on Restrictive Republic, please get there. Um, I share exclusive information about what's really going on. You're only getting a piece of the pie, so to speak, here on YouTube. And I'm really scared for what our future holds, especially in light of all these new censorship uh, protocols that they're getting in. But go to RestrictedRepublic.com. Use the coupon code LISA and the number five to get it for $5 per month. Support what we do for less than you pay for a cup of coffee. Anyhow, I love all of you. Thanks again for listening. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.